Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. I'm about to do, give you a reading today uh, that's going to be timeless. It's not going to be time stamped. So if you come across this video, the message is for you. If not, leave it for somebody else. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, uh, thanks for coming along again and checking out my channel. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, the one that says all, so you won't miss a video when I upload. And uh, if you like the video at the end, give it a thumbs up. Let's get into this, Leo, and see what's in store for you in this reading. Um, I'm using Hieronymus Bosch. This is a very sort of dark kind of deck. Um, when I say dark, I mean in terms of the imagery. Um, it can be a little direct in terms of some of the messages that are in here, but Let's give it a go and see what comes through. I'm interested to see what's in store for you, Leo. Um, so let's get into it, okay? Angel spirits, guys. Angel spirits, guys. What can you tell me about Leo? What does Leo need to know in this message today? All right, here we go. Whee! Hey, 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 hey. All right, sin of wrath. All right. Um, anger, rage, inability, incompetence, and conflict. It's not a very... Uh, Positive start to your reading. Oh my goodness. And then you've got the tower here, which is in your crowning position. <laughs> River to hell. Uh, movement, journey, difficulty and struggle. In the foundation, you have queen of skates. Gossip, new information and rudeness. In the past, you have page of berries. And, and unfortunately, this is in the past. Hel uh, helpful, giving, sharing and a friend. Not anymore. <laughs> in the immediate future, you have King of Coins, which is hoarding, uh, inheritance, and unwillingness to share. So you might be sort of holding on to some finances here. You might be having to sort of keep things close to home, um, that sort of thing. Let's keep going. In the position of the Querent, you have Peace, Pleasure, and Communication. Now this is getting a bit better. So you have Paradise, which is number 14, um, traditionally known as the Temperance card. So it's about, um, you know, finding that perfect balance, you know, um, putting together the right recipe, you know, for spiritual alchemy to try and, you know, balance those light and dark energies, okay? In your environment, uh, you have Table of Plenty, so it is a time for you to enjoy, uh, you know, the fruits of your labor. But it's also about success, food, uh, rewards, and capitalism, okay, as well. So there could be something here in, t in terms of money that is, you know, going to, you're going to get a raise or some sort of lift that's coming through. Uh, in the position of attitude, you have Ace of Books, music, sharing of knowledge, and creativity. So it might be here that you're turning your hand to something new. You might be learning a new instrument. You might be, you know, reading some new material um, and upskilling in terms of your knowledge base. All right. The outcome for the reading is sin of pride, which is um, appearance, vanity and physical well-being. All right. So, you know. Leo's love to be look at me, uh, but this time, you know, maybe there could be a, a moment here where you might just need to, you know, step back a little bit. The bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Berries, which is harmony amongst all living things, happiness and joy. So that's your overall energy. Um, and it has an owl in the image as well, which is quite cute, um, which, you know, indicates wisdom. Um, but let's clarify that on the split. And an ace as well is new beginnings. So I feel like there could be a new beginning for you here, Leo. Uh, sin of sloth, just putting your feet up, taking you, you know, some time out here. Laziness, sleep, tiredness, rest, uh, relaxation, and home life. So this could be something as well where you know there's um, some energy here where you might need to sort of recuperate from what's happening in the center of the reading here, and that's taking some time out at home, okay, um, and really sort of enjoying uh, some new harmonies, some new frequency, some new energy that's coming through here because aces are, are, are new beginnings. They're not um, an ending and they're not something that involves usually other people. It's usually um, involving the self as well because aces are singular. So I always see an ace as working on the self. So I feel like you're creating your own harmony in amongst the chaos, right? Um, and it's clarified by that sin of sloth, which is laziness and um, sleep, rest, um, relaxation and home life. 
okay so you've got sin of sloth there and you know who doesn't like a good sloth day in the gym jams or watching netflix or whatever you know whatever you find relaxing um, but it's saying overall here that's your umbrella that's your overall message let's dive into the center of this reading hey get into the surgery um, cracking it open at the center you've got a sin of wrath you know you're really angry uh, about something anger rage instability incompetence and conflict all right so there could be people around you who are just you know making you mad but also at the same time um there's an incompetence there there's there's people in your environment who don't know what they're doing and it's really having an effect on you because you know you're you maybe have an expectation that people should be delivering something or you know doing something correctly potentially at work or, or you know those sorts of things um and in your crowning position, you've got the tower, which is river to hell. Um, and at the moment, this is almost like a wake up call. This is an awakening. Okay. When you get the tower, it's like you're being pushed. You're being pushed to the limit. You're being maybe pushed to rebuild. You're maybe being pushed because you need to, you know, have this new um, sort of awakening as to what is in your environment at the moment, what a certain institution may look like, because the tower is also a building it's an institution the ground might be very shaky as well because the tower energy is usually about shaky foundations as well in the foundation of your reading you have the queen of skates which is gossip uh, new information and rudeness so you know there may be some people in your environment who are causing you this grief um, who might be gossiping who might be bringing in some new information but uh, and it also might be quite rude so look out in the past you have the page of berries helpful giving sharing and a friend unfortunately this is in the past um, and then this also might be you in the past um, having been helpful giving and sharing but perhaps not so much these days um, and you know how's that working out for you sorry in the immediate future, you have King of Coins, which is about hoarding, inheritance, unwillingness to share. So I feel like, you know, the lion wants to, you know, be this generous ray of sunshine, okay, everywhere they go. But unfortunately, sometimes with Leo energy, you're, you guys are shining so bright. Um, everyone around you is a little bit kind of blinded by, you know, what's the reality of the situation. Um, and it's only until we sort of dim the light that we can actually focus and actually see um, things for how they really are. And when you do that, you might also be looking at, um, you know, just being more mindful about resources in particular, because King of Coins for me is Capricorn and Capricorn is career. It's also finances. It's also resources. Um, in terms of status and legacy. So in the immediate future position here, um, moving forward out of this energy of the tower, the wrath, the gossip, all of that, which is right through the center of this reading, um, you might want to be, yeah, mindful about your resources and what that looks like moving forward. Capricorn energy as well is also about investing. All right. So you might need to reconsider how you invest. The position of your self as querent is peaceful excuse me, is peace, uh, pleasure, communication. So this might be a result as of, you know, future uh, energy here, prediction, predictive energy. If you decide to sort of really um, be a little bit more business minded about, you know, your resources and, and your finances, um, you're going to be feeling a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more pleasant, a little bit more at peace with the universe and those around you, not this. In the environment and how other people see you, you do have table of plenty, which means you might be um, saving some coin here, but also the wheel is now turning in your favor. Something is turning a corner, finally. It's like the, the ship's back on track or something like that. Um, but generally, this is fate, karma, destiny. Um, and yeah, it should be good fortune, a time for you to sort of enjoy good food, good wine, uh, replenish yourself. Um, and, you know, stabilize your soul path, stabilize, you know, your thinking, your, you know, your critical thinking uh, in particular, because when we nourish ourselves, we're able to be more relaxed, we feel happier, we make better decisions, we're thinking more clearly. But when we sort of scrimp and save and don't, you know, we cut corners and we're just trying to, 
you know, um, not really sort of treat ourselves as best we could, um, we don't operate as best we could. So I'm a firm believer in, um, you know, charity starts at home. So invest in yourself first and then you can go out and, you know, assist others or, you know, raise the vibration. Um, but start, start with yourself first. The attitude is ace of books, as I said, music sharing and knowledge of, and creativity. So there could be something here where, you know, there's an energy where you could learn new things, okay? There's something here that you're going to get a bit of a wake-up call in terms of maybe um, opening up a book, reading uh, some new material, something here that's really going to sort of help you work on yourself as well because it's an ace. So ace of books is, yeah, further knowledge, um, self-development, professional development, whatever that looks like. Your outcome is sin of pride. So once again... Uh, Now's not the time to say, look at me. Now is the time to maybe just, just take a back seat for a little bit, if that's possible for Leo. Um, and sort of look at your physical well-being as an energy of, um, you know, it's not just about your physical um, presence and your aesthetic. Um, it's also, at the moment, about the mind, you know, your knowledge base, um, levelling up in an area that you may need to. Overall, as I said, you have the Ace of Berries, which again is another Ace, uh, but it is your harmony uh, with nature uh, and all things in terms of a healing. You know, this is working on the self as well. Um, so you've got working on the self in terms of the Ace of Books, which is leveling up in terms of your knowledge base and your creativity and in areas where you may, you know, you should be leveling up. Um, and then overall, you have your Ace of Berries, which is you, you know, spending time in nature and um, all living things that bring you happiness and joy. But the uh, clarifier is that laziness. So, you know, don't feel too guilty if you want to put your feet up just for a little bit before, while you're reading that book and while you're actually being good to yourself for a change um, because they're all decisions that you need to make. You're not in control of what happens externally, but at the end of the day, if you do take care of yourself first, you're going to be putting your best foot forward to help others. So Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did and you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to know more, please get in contact with me at my website, newangeltarot.com. If you'd like to learn, you can check that out as well, newangeltarot.com forward slash academy. So until next time, Leo, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye, Leo.